CIRB Gaurav. All of you have read about it. Okay. CIRB Gaurav is a cloned buffalo. Who has done it? Central Institute of Research on Buffaloes, where it is Hisar. Is it the first instance of the cloning of a mammal in India? No, Garima 1 and Garima 2. Garima 1 and Garima 2 were cloned by whom? National Dairy Research Institute, Karnal. That's a separate setup. This is a separate setup. Okay. Now, what is the USP of CIRB Gaurav? Hmm? First and foremost, it is a part of the project of the government of India. Conservation for the germ, for the conservation and manipulation of the germ plasm of buffaloes. Okay. As a part of this, this has been executed. And how it is different? Actually, is a worst case type of a question. This is for the first time. A cloning has been carried out by using the cell from the ventral side of the tail of the male bull. Why it was why they have used the ventral side of the cell from the tail of a male bull is that ventral side means not exposed to solar radiation. And when it is not exposed to solar radiation, the possibility of the changes being introduced in the genetic makeup is virtually negligible. This means the mutations will not be there. Okay, fine. This is the first time. This is the USP of this particular CIRB Gaurav. Okay, fine. Now, again, 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 listen, 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 listen here. What is the method actually they have used? The method they actually use is known as hand guided cloning method. Again, obviously, this is not the time to discuss all these things in detail. I will just give you brief. Okay, don't use somatic cell nuclear transfer because Dolly is also a possible area of question. Because Dolly would have been 20 this year because it was cloned in 97. So, and UPSC is very fond of anniversaries and dates. I'm telling you. Hmm. Okay, although unfortunately she is not around. Hmm. So that's what was the method used in the case of Dolly? Somatic cell nuclear transfer. What is the difference? Just I'll not, this I will not dictate. Just listen, I'll give you opportunity. Hmm. In hand guided cloning method, they take somatic cells. Some of you might have forgot. Hmm. They take one ovum. Okay, then this ovum is, the nucleus is removed by cutting down and this cell is fused. Then there is a blastocyst and then this blastocyst is transferred in the womb of a surrogate mother. In this case, actually, this cell was taken from a different buffalo, ovum was taken from a different buffalo and womb was taken from a different buffalo. So there were three involved, not one buffalo. Okay. Same thing was done. Cloning was done in case of Dolly as well. Here they take one somatic cell. Okay. Then there is one ovum, the nucleus is removed. Okay. Then this nucleus is transferred here. Getting it. So just as I said those times as well, now I'm saying today, just see the difference. The difference between the two lies how the chromosomes are being complete. In this case, fusing the somatic cell with the enucleated ovum. In this case, transferring only the nucleus. Is this clear? I have to go a bit fast over here. Then there is formation of blastocyst and then this blastocyst is transferred from in the womb. Okay. This was from sheep one. This was from sheep two and this was from sheep, sheep three. So here it is S1, S2, S3. There it was B1, B2, B3. Just simple. Again, again, worst case. Same. No. All the three from different sheeps or from different Buffaloes. This is how Gaurav was done, hand guided cloning method. This is how she, this uh, Dolly was done. Again, just last point. Hmm? <coughs> this is the third instance of the cloning of buffalo in the world. And obviously, out of that, first and third has been in India. Second is somewhere else. Okay, that I have not got the answer. I tried to search for it. But didn't got the answer. Okay, I don't think they will not. Be, they won't. They will be asking this. This is CIRB Gaurav. I hope it's fine.